Good morning, Britain. Breaking news overnight. The US has carried out airstrikes in Syria targeting the British Islamic State militant known as Jihadi John. Floods, blackouts and schools close. Britain's race to storm Abigail hits. Here in Scotland, police are warning people to stay in their homes as winds of up to 90 miles per hour strike. A nightmare before Christmas. Could thousands of doctors walk out on strike next month, leaving patients at risk at the busiest time of the year? And apparently he was a perfect gentleman. The morning after her date with George Clooney, Heather McGowan tells us all about the day she'll never forget. And a Hollywood star for Harry Potter. It was a crazy, crazy thing that we embarked on as a family 16 years ago. But we made it, and I made it thanks to you. And Radcliffe thanks his parents as he's honoured with a star on the Walk of Fame. Friday, 13th of November 2015, live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain. Hello there, breaking news this morning. US forces have conducted airstrikes overnight targeting the British Islamic militant known as Jihadi John. Mohammed Mwazi has appeared in Islamic State videos showing the torture and killings of hostages, including two British aid workers. Our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford joins us in the studio. Uh, what have we heard from the Americans, Richard? Well, they're now looking at the evidence, the intelligence, to see if Mohammed Mwazi has been killed. The American network ABC News, they're reporting just in the last hour that they've spoken to a spokesman or, or a source at the uh, Pentagon that suggests this was a flawless and clean hit and that they targeted Mohammed Mwazi as he came out of a building in Raqqa and they effectively evaporated him as the language that's being used with no other collateral damage. Now uh, this is the man of course who was a Kuwaiti born uh, citizen who then became a British citizen raised and educated here headed out to Syria 2012 having been um, uh, taken into the Islamic State then became known uh, for wearing that black suit with the balaclava holding the knife and killing uh, a number of people including Alan Henning and David Haynes uh, and the Americans saying at the uh, Pentagon that they conducted an airstrike in Raqqa uh, on November the 12th. They targeted Mwazi, also known as Jihadi John. Uh, they say he's a British citizen and participated in the video showing the murders of US journalists Stephen Sotloff and James Foley. And of course, the British aid workers David Haynes and Alan Henning, along with a number of other hostages. My goodness. I mean, he's clearly a high profile member of the group, certainly in terms of us here in Britain. He's kind of a figurehead, isn't he? How important is it that they've got him? Well, he's not a leader of mm. the Islamic State as, as we know it. I mean, certainly a propaganda tool. The fact that they could find someone with a British accent to take part in these videos, mm. to put these videos online, that is his importance. So I think we'll be watching all of those social media feeds just in the next few hours just to see whether there is a response from the Islamic State, but also. So if he hasn't been killed, how quickly they get a video of him online to prove that he may still be alive. Goodness me. Thanks very much indeed. Okay, Richard, thank, thank you. you very much. So that's our top story from our Chief Correspondent Richard Gayson. Ravi here now uh, with all the other stories, including more on Storm Abigail. Yeah, the first one ever to be named in the UK to mm -hmm. make it easier to sort of, I suppose, find out the updates on it. You know, you, mm. you, you put in Storm Abigail and you know where you are. Well, you watch us and we tell you that I'm afraid it's hit Scotland and the north of England overnight causing torrential rain, winds of up to 90 miles per hour and 40 foot high waves. Amy Welch is our reporter in Oban in Scotland for us this morning. Uh, Amy, it seems reasonably calm behind you now, but what kind of disruption is it causing today?